Hey everybody, I'm back to make another soap and the soap that I'm making today is, is a perfume fragrance. So this is going to be Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I've made this before on my channel but it's been a while and I actually haven't made that soap since. So I'm restocking it finally. But this is like one of my favorite perfumes back in the day. I used to wear it all the time. It was my signature scent. But let me go ahead and get started. As y'all know, I will talk five minutes into the video and I'll still be talking. So let me show you the colors I'm using. This is Zippy Blue from Brambleberry. I don't even know if they still carry Zippy Blue, but. And then I have a little bit of Winter White mixed in that to make it light blue. So let me tell y'all the design I'm gonna do. I am going to do kind of like, um, it's gonna fade from this blue into a lighter blue or possibly even white, depending on how much soap I have left over. So, let me show you um, better than I can tell you because I don't even know if that made sense. In my head, it didn't make sense. So, let me move all of this stuff out the way. And I remember this fragrance being a slow mover. So, that's good. So, let me buzz up my oils. That's good, pour my lye water in here. And I'm debating if I wanna put my fragrance in now or later. I'll probably do later, I'll do later. I'll just stir it in. I like to stir my fragrances in, even though I'm pretty sure that this one is a slow mover, but it's been a while. So I'm going to emulsify this. Pretty outside. Yesterday it was 78 degrees here. I love it. I don't know why. It's not like I'll be outside. <laughs> and it's practically almost sunny here. Like I remember when I lived in Ohio, that's where I was raised, y'all. Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. It was always gloomy. Always depressing. Okay, let me pour this. In here I think that should be enough maybe a little bit more okay Need a paper towel <sighs> how's the weather where you are because it's nice here so this is oh let me make sure I'm in the frame I just poured some winter white mica in there mixed with sweet almond oil just to lighten it up a little bit. Um, I know I'm gonna have to stick blend this because that Zippy Blue pigment, it's a pigment, so yeah, I need to stick blend it. I am going to record a video um, just about how I got started with my business. So I know a lot of you all have questions so if you have any questions, put them down below. And I'm also going to put a community post so you can post the questions there, if I don't forget. But just in case, just put your um, questions down below so that I see them all. So let me stick blend this. Oop, glove stuck, glove stuck. Okay. Get these air bubbles out. That is a pretty blue. I like that. You got it right. I thought I was going to have to add some blue to it, but I got it right. So let me add fragrance. 
And this is a pretty good dupe. This is from Bulk Apothecary. Um, yeah, it is a pretty good dupe. I do like it. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but it's okay, you know. Not everyone likes heavily fragranced soaps. Me, I don't mind fragrance. So when it comes to putting fragrance in my soaps, I use the Max. Because you know, I want you to smell good. And then sometimes when soap goes through the saponification, mm, excuse me, goodness, I'm always choking. When it goes through the saponification process, sometimes your um, fragrance disappears. Well, it's happened to me, like with light fragrances, with fragrances that aren't strong, so. But yeah, like whatever the fragrance says, the max percentage, please believe your girl is using it. Okay, so let's get started with the pour. And let's hope this goes right. <laughs> I'm experimenting. I'm experimenting. When I told y'all I'd just be trying things and if they go right, they go right. So this is just a wax melt clam shell. I'm going, ooh, I'm going to use, okay. Let me make sure I'm in the frame, y'all. So I'm gonna pour half of this. And maybe a little bit more. Okay. And now I'm going to pour some white in here. Just to give it a lighter tone. Ooh, it's so pretty. Ooh, it look a little green. <laughs> Please don't look green. See, this fragrance is wonderful. Like, oops, I got some that's not stirred up. Okay. And I'm gonna pour half again. Making a mess. Let's pour a little bit more. Okay. Let me wipe this up. I'm not panicking because this is a good fragrance. So I got time to clean up my mess and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pour some more of this in here.
going to remove this. a lot of this color. You see how good that fragrance is? Like, it just cooperates. It really does. So it's gonna take a while for it to set up. So I'm gonna scrape my bow, let this set up, and I will be back to texture the top. I will see you in a little bit. Hey everybody, I am back to cut the light blue Dolce & Gabbana type soap. So this is the close up. You can see how the gradient blue fades to the lighter color. It's not coming off as the right color on here. When I set it down, you'll be able to see it. So again, I've already cut off a couple pieces because I had to take my Instagram picture. So here it goes. You can see it. Yeah, see that's more of the true color right there. So let's get to cutting. This took, whoo, it took about 45 minutes for it to set up. And I thought I was recording me um, texturing the top and that didn't happen. So sorry, there's no, no um, video of me texturing it. But I just used a fork, just like I did my NAC shampoo soap, so. And this is super soft, but they're all pretty much gonna look the same. Here is a close up, let me focus this. So yeah, so that's the close up. I wish this would have been like a little more blue right here. I just had a lot of the lighter portion, but overall I still like how it turned out, so I'm not mad. Let me make sure this is focused, okay. Yeah, so this will be another good fragrance for beginners because it sets up very slow. Yeah, like I was able to eat and lollygag because it was taking forever. And even after 45 minutes, it still wasn't thick enough to give me a little more texture that I wanted. So at that point I was just like, it's gonna have to be what it's gonna have to be. All right, so I'm going to cut the rest and fast forward this part. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.